In the circus crone, usually used for pop concerts, and where he and Ali practice at different times of the afternoon, he tries to put over the confidence that few experts can justify. But if it all seems a bit strange for Dunn, it's hardly surprising. In a year, he's catapulted from a position as lowly ranked British heavyweight with no apparent future to British Commonwealth and European champion with a shot at the world title thrown in. That he's strong is not in dispute, nor that he's brave, as one would expect from a TAVR paratrooper with 67 jumps behind him. What's in question is simply his skill and his ability. There are some aspects of his training that raise the eyebrows. For American television, the fight takes place in the early hours of the morning. It was suggested to Dunn that he might sleep in the daytime and train at night for acclimatization, but he's having none of that. But when asked about his chances, he's definite enough. I'm no problem, I'm fit enough, I'm strong enough, I'm big enough. I've got a lot of Yorkshire grit, so what should I bother? He's handed out an awful lot of beatings, Mohamed Ali, in his time. So have I. So have I. Uh, I'm no problem, I'm not with it. And then you're deep down inside, you reckon you're going to win, do you? Yeah, I reckon so, yeah. I know I am. Yeah. Follow me in this one. Well, I'm sure they're not going to make it. I don't know. 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 I